uh, uh, Dr. Basu has, has given us some, some, some great data uh, on, on the, the magnitude and distribution of preventable maternal deaths. Uh, one of the reasons we, that their mothers are still dying, and this is a, a quote from uh, Professor Mohammed Fatala, in 2006, an Egyptian uh, OBGYN, he said, mothers are still dying because societies have yet to make the decision that their lives are worth saving. And we know one of the key issues is that you can't separate mothers and children and infants. Uh, it, uh, you, you need to think of them uh, as a dyad and ad address the needs of both. People who are only working on, on infant mortality forget that there's a mother there and, and she's a critical uh, partner in, in, in survival of both. Uh, the second thing we need to do is kind of understand the, the costs uh, of the failure to act. While we've seen the reduction globally, there are still countries in, in, in Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia, and including the United States, uh, where maternal deaths uh, remain unacceptably high. We know about the tragedy of preventable deaths and disabilities. Uh, Dr. Basu showed us a, a, a picture of, of one in India, but we know that for every woman that dies in some countries, 20 are, 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 are uh, disabled or have complications, uh, and that's a, a major, it's a major issue. Families often fall into poverty due to the costs of dealing with this care and the loss of labor to their families and communities. And finally, the economic, social, and political opportunities for women are often delayed or lost because of disabilities related to uh, childbirth. Uh, about half the births in, in, in the world uh, are, are, are planned. Uh, so many of these uh, are not events that, that women can anticipate. What are the objectives of our action group? Well, we, want, we seek to enhance uh, human well-being and dignity, improve women and child's health and, and empowerment, seek sustainable balance between population and environment, and be a resource for districts and clubs in the maternal child health area of focus. The, the Rotary Action Group was founded in 1995 as a, as a rag for population and development. We've changed now to focus a little bit more on the actual issues that are confronting clubs, communities, uh, and countries. Uh, we have over 13,000 members, including Rotarians, Rotaractors, country sections, and clubs. We have Catter and Fellowship members, as, as uh, Dr. Basu mentioned and we're governed by a board of directors from around, around the world. Our major streams of action uh, include the following. We're improving quality birthing and family planning services. We know that birth spacing is an important predictor. If all women who wanted to uh, delay their birth were using contraception, maternal de uh, deaths would drop automatically by about 30%. We're working with Reka Shetty and others in South Asia, enhancing status and well-being of women, making sure that they have opportunities and can, can, in, uh, can express those uh, uh, aspirations in the workforce, in the political arena, and other places. Uh, we're building provider capacity for quality and maternal services. And again, that was provided with, uh, with the comm presentation just shortly ago. And we're supporting comprehensive sex education and skills of youth uh, uh, in South Asia through centers that allow uh, young women to think about alternatives to, to uh, early child, uh, childbearing. And we're promoting education as, a, as, a, as one of the proximate uh, determinants of, of uh, long-term development for, for young people. Girls who stay in school uh, have better outcomes, both in terms of maternity and in terms of their workforce participation. And finally, uh, the new work stream is uh, TINA, as described by, by Dr. Basso. I won't provide more detail on that. So we are not doing this alone. Uh, we're essentially working to support the sustainable development goals as the UN and other professional bodies and Rotary is doing. We have a history of global cooperation uh, with, uh, with maternal health as well as vaccination and others. We know about the scale up of high impact health practices. We know what works uh, and what can save lives. And we're committed to uh, promotion of universal health coverage uh, and reproductive justice, two critical issues for the, from now until 2030. And finally, we want to make investments uh, to make sure that uh, women's lives are, are, are considered worth saving by, the, by their communities. We want to make investments in building uh, health systems, engaging communities, supporting gender equality, uh, something that was mentioned early on about girls empowerment, uh, promoting the scale up for public health impact, not just thinking about that clinic or, or, or those, those two providers, but rather thinking, about how do we get to scale 
to actually benefit large numbers of people? And how do we ensure partnerships for de uh, sustainable development? The, the, the big issue I think is both follow-up uh, of, of mothers and children. So it isn't a one-off uh, and ins ensure that families, communities, uh, and health systems uh, are invested in for those critical changes that are needed over time. So I wanna thank you all. Uh, I've been brief. Uh, if you would like to know more, here's our website and my personal email. Uh, and we'd be happy to, to engage with uh, each of you uh, to improve the lives of women and children around the world. Thank you very much.